jump in. We got a porch instead of putting more points in the in the tree grab and, and an early blink as Tim's will end up falling. Moon the first to find first blood. Three points Crips. Siphon's just gonna get more and more effective as the uh the cores in particular look to beef up more and more. And so we should be able to stand on the front lines. <sighs> that ink spell cooldown. So duration apologies and now Arfu is gonna end up falling. Can they take the regen more. away? <laughs> so close. They're even looking to set up here on Turt Moon. Yeah, they've got Tim's nearby. Your Paj already used the Laguna Blade, but it looks like his damage is still ramping up. Thanks to the early levels he's been able to find, so they'll turn back on Roji instead. Moon's still pretty survivable, especially with the infused raindrops, but maybe he's stuck around for a little bit too long. Can play around with his mobility to get out of range here for the Dragon Slave, and Tim's doesn't have the damage in the tank. Up against a Tide Hunter, but maybe just wanting to go a little bit further into this uh, objective taking potential that SMG have kind of opted to go for with Bottom their lane. Boom, making a rotation down. They want to take the fight as Boone's going to try and charge up the ultimate. They're prioritizing the death prop for the moment. Is she survivable enough to go through all the ultimates? The answer is no, as now they can turn the Fiend's Crypt still at the ready as they're locking any escape avenue for KP. Does Boone bring the numbers? So Boone were able to protect that, they're in a really good spot. Palos might be in trouble top. We'll see if they have the damage in the tank. Turn with the armor toggles. Uh-oh. They're turning. They're too close to the tower here, so here come the numbers. A swap away, swap. still Fiend's Grips out. There's a little bit of damage mitigation, but they're just gonna overwhelm SMGs again. <laughs> All of the old- Completely blind, but because of their early advantage, I think it's gone, and it's not a level two exorcism. Yeah, but Tidy, it doesn't have the Ravage again, so they're gonna focus him down. It's a lot of attention drawn at the moment here. They have to be careful how deep they wanna take the fight, as Yopaj now with the BKB completely protected. Moon, is he able to retreat up on the higher ground? Tim somehow still making it forward here. He's super survivable, but is it enough? That's the question. It's the look for the back line. Nice nightmare. Prevents a lot of the fall damage from mid one. Now they've got the Fiend's Great, Crypt to lock him in place as well, but the damage, it's not showing at the moment. As a Death Prophet could just force back Palace, which was what they were needing to clean off the Tiny, and the consequence will be shown. As boom, they'll end up losing CTM as well. Beautiful body blocks from KP, giving him no opportunity to make it to the second. Very low at the moment. Still mid one. Hasn't right clicked anyone. We'll try once again at the last duration. Yopai oh, swap back. Detection there. He'll get out to safety. Still some heroes behind him. Looks like that'll be all she wrote. And it's around their vision as well. KP, he's even got the dive bomb on the hawk. Moon, looking for the charge up. Exorcism committed. FPZ's the target. They need the Silver's Edge to bring him through, but the backline mid one will clean off the Bane, so no CTM for the fight. The Ravage pretty much wasted as well as Moon charges on full through the protection of the BKB. So that was all before the level three in the Exorcism as SMG take a solid fight. Well. I mean, no, not quite. Lena did also just complete oh, swap back straight on top. Beautiful chain lockdown. Pelos, no opportunity. So bring him down with ease. He doesn't have a buyback as well to look to rejoin the fire. We'll answer with a one for one. Rune's gonna rev up the X's and they're diving incredibly deep here. You've gotta be cautious as Tim's. He can block off the escape avenue. And now with the tiny, there's no escape. Tim's even gonna jump on forward here, KP. Oh, unfortunately for him as well, he's out of position. Ah, oh, foo. It feels like similarly for uh, yeah, Afu, he should probably still go down. The ink swell coming through from, uh, sorry, the movement speed from the ink swell, not going to be enough to save him. But it feels like like on the the preview on the website. But it's like, well, it's it's not actually. <laughs> Dire. Be careful, coming mid one. Over. He's not super deep. And mid one will jump on forward. Palace the target. FBZ is going to push them back. You saw the recognition. SMG look to disperse away from the area, but they're in trouble here as mid one. Swap away defensively. They can't stick around though from SMG. They've already lost multiple heroes. And Yopaj going to make it a third on the deck as well as Roji. The inevitable will come. Four down lead. Looking to immediately Ooh. smoke up afterwards. That's the refresher orb as well, completed by FPZ. They, they won't be ready for this. Be they, they're not going to be ready for this at know. all. It might just pay them. Oh no, Beastmaster targeted. KP's in trouble. There's no follow up at the moment. Yopaj is being pushed to the backside. So Moon's going to rev up and look to force back the Lena. They haven't been able to lock onto a target just yet. But the massive amount of buybacks looking to rejoin the fight here is Boom. 
Can they further back their positioning? Palos won't have this opportunity. The BKB's already been expended. Moon's going to continue to jump on forward as well. Yopaj, he's not sieging into anyone, though. The machine gun not going to work. And right choice. You've got the Ravage and the Refresher Shard available. If they can kill FPZ, that's a lot of their turnaround potential. They have to put Yo, BKBs in so because FPZ, no! Abbott's not going to matter! Toss up! Double Ravage isn't enough to keep Yopage alive! He's going to turn! Somehow the lead is still repeating! Yopage finds three, but now boom! They've got a reset! It was Moon being back in the fray! They'll be able to get back to safety. A heavy commitment for that fight, but they don't have Lena for a hundred and... Oh, refresh us up in ten. I think they need double Ravage. I think that's huge for these fights, Palos. Early BKB, they'll clean off Frobji. There's the first Ravage. Roche, they don't have to worry about this with the health pull. It's out at the moment. They'll kill off the Illusion. Now with the exits and move instantly straight on top of the back line. They're trying to focus down the lead up, but he didn't get the second Ravage off. So now Yopage is in trouble here. And Nightmare may be giving an opportunity to retreat to safety. Mid one is already committed as well. with the Blinkers too. Does anyone have buyback right now? No one in the entire game. Okay, I was thinking just for boom, but they're just going to walk on forward. You can start whacking away at that ancient. I mean, you're going to have to make an attempt sooner rather than later. Swap back instantly on top of Yopage will turn. It's an early use of the satanic though. No look to control him through the BKB. Mid one's got too much damage. Without the Lina, your hopes are gone. And SMG will take game one 44 minutes in. And just have a look at that graph as well. It, uh, it was some peaks and valleys. It was Bitcoin over the last few months, but being that tanky beast on the front lines, that decision not to go in near. Attica as well. Like his sniper just going to play the jungle, e there. even though, of course, he's got the stacks, but is he going to stay there? Top, actually, FBZ. We'll drop the arena. The speed doesn't get the connection on mid one, but you're happy with picking up first blood, of course. We'll give FBZ a little bit. Um, they feel like they need to bring the extra numbers here to play with the like. But the only issue is, is well, what do you do now versus Rupture? You're locked in place. Even Yopage will show up as well. They don't bring too many resources down because they've recognized how strong their heroes are versus the SMG's lineup early. We'll take it after that. There we go. Roji, however, will be able to use his first Rolling Thunder of the game to get the clean up on Tim's. A little bit of extra gold oh, wow, for mid moved. one as well. Yeah, they've been able to catch up the sniper. Interestingly, the rotations are coming through, but they're going to be a little bit too late here as Moon will unfortunately still end up going down as the core down straight on top of the head will claim it. They're looking for some revenge as CTM's in trouble. Earthshake is going to look to show up and drop the Echo Slam, but the coil breaking from the synergy. Showing from the Mars doesn't give him the opportunity. And look at their heroes. Who actually lane. Wants Palace to be is in trouble. Tim's going to try and TP out to give the Bloodseeker some time, but it's not enough. And now mid one can turn to clean off the Rubik as well. So with the Diffuser Blade enables him to find two kills here. That's big to try and cancel out this net worth. And mid one's actually just going to turn it back around. CTM's got some reinforcements yeah, showing up, but they know where the real Phantom Lancer is. So Yopage can close the distance. He'll miss on the coil, but yeah, he's got the right clicks to go through him. There's no worry. Any little bit of space. A busy. Try and jump on the forward. Off. They'll instantly charge up the Rolling Thunder, and he's split away from the Bloodseeker, so they don't have enhancer right now to the Pangolier. They'll look to trade a one for one. Mid one's still getting involved here. But can they stick around though on a boom as Yopaj doesn't have a way to escape the vicinity? So for mid one? Oh my god. We went down to the here. Tims is getting targeted. Shapeshift won't have an opportunity. In between the T1, T2 tower, CTM's gonna be in trouble as well. So SMG just focus all their heroes to deal off with the supports. Now it does cost yeah. them the life in Roji. That uh, was completely sacrificial, though. He completely disrupted the back lines. Rupture was used onto him, and he jumped up onto the high ground where Yopage is standing right now. And, well, that's been able to net them finally a good team. But they haven't used Echo. Gotta be cautious. FBZ, counter initiation. Is this going to be enough space for Yopage to get Silence. out to safety? It is. And now Palace is going to look to turn. He's got the BKB charging up all the damage. They haven't locked onto mid one or moon as well. So the sniper is just freely right clicking on top of the back line. The take aim consistently poking them down further and further as Moon still not dead just yet. How is this sniper alive? Yopaj will try and get the last little chip damage, but still Moon will find the triple. Oh, and then the CEO gets backstabbed right at the end there by Tim. Uh, it's interesting that 
Are they actually going to take the fight down, Bo? Trying to set up at the moment. Mid one. Aggression coming to fruition. Of course, he's got the ages to play with, so he's targeting down FBZ, but he's very survivable. Get yeah, one last guard to rebuke, but that's not enough to kill off the illusions. KP is going to go play hand in hand with the Phantom Lancer at the moment. They've got the respawns coming up shortly as well. So Pango can look to connect. They're Palace taping on the backline, back though. though. They've got to be cautious. Palos rupture out, targeting Afu. Instead with the BKB, there will be no escape in the TP. Now mid one, they're going to try and target down the PL. Keep in mind, he does have the extra life to play with. But where are Dai and Nibai to protect him? They'll try and rev no up the rolling thunder. They need the help. They need it now, but they won't get it fast enough. As mid one's down and out of the count, Yopaj will target through KP as well. A triple for Palos and a huge team fight victory. You talking boom here? Yes. And he hasn't even gone the phase shift attack. FPC? Oh, nice doppelganger dodge. And now There's with the, the echo, echo slam from Afu. Catching up multiple heroes. But again, we're showing the survivability from FPC. But Yopai, she doesn't have the capability. As he's also going to end up dropping as well. Palos? See how Moon's set up. If they instantly jump. Rogers there to help him Arthur as well. They tried the telekinesis spear. They won't get it. It's going to cop the FBZ's life and Tim's too. Instantly two heroes down in the grave. But Pellet's going to look at, to turn it around. But a BKB's been wasted just for an initial life. The Assassin's out. Can he get back to the safety? Won't even matter. The Illusions will claim the kill. And now Arthur's in as well. But space... Line up that. Boom need a kill to start. And we'll hold that thought. Maybe Tim's is a key component for Boom. Nice use of his own doppelganger. He'll still nonetheless run into the Aghanim shard. Teams has got some heroes in the back line. They brought down two, maybe now with the strength in numbers, but they still just cannot get on top of Moon. They've got the vision as well. Jump in finally. They're able to catch him out. Palace BKB charged up. They're going to try and beat on top of the sniper, but he's turning. The life's still too much for him to deal with. He's 25. It will obliterate CTM as well. He can't fight into mid one. Continuously fight alongside mid one and take a, a pretty successful team fight. Totally buybacks expended, but I mean, does he even have ultimate? It's 15 seconds away. I don't know if you can look to do this. Yeah, they're just going to run into CTM here. Oh, Moon. He doesn't care about no arena. He wants to be trapped inside the gladiators. That's a dieback here for FBZ. And Yopaj is in trouble. KP and Orchid out. There's no more control at the moment, but a bit of issues with your barracks and they've had enough as SMG. They don't care about the debut at the newly formed Boom Rush Star. They'll take the series 2-0. to zero. Yeah, the new boy out of Manila, unfortunately, did not do that well for the uh, the first showing on Boom. Honestly, it wasn't like a bad Tim's performance. Prolonged the team fight for a little bit longer, but you definitely...